and just look and lower leg on. Oh my. morning it's gp welcome back to my channel um or welcome to my channel really appreciate that you're here anywho <laughs> i am going to have a lesson today but not on my half lease bow if you watched my last video you'll see that he had he is having an epm flare and uh we have had to put him back on rebalance and while he is right about the walk <laughs> like easy peasy and actually i haven't checked his soundness today yet obviously i'm not at the barn yet but um he could be feeling better but we're just like you know what <laughs> let's just give the boy <laughs> some time off you know let the medicine do his work just rest up and uh, he doesn't need to be teaching lessons right now because uh, lessons can be a little more uh, demanding because there's prolonged trotting, some cantering and typically a fence or two so. Or my butt trying to balance on him without stirrups, which that is not today. As I've told you prior, like my trainer who happens to be also Bo's owner and the owner of Grey Horse Farms has this philosophy of doing one lesson of fun, which is today, and one lesson of the basics like stirrupless trotting and dressage technique etc so no insults to dressage riders i just basically implied that that's not fun but that's not what i mean <laughs> i mean like anyway just ignore me it's too early so today i'm going to ride tori who is hillary's uh, 19 year old holsteiner is gorgeous gorgeous horse um who um teaches a lot of people and hillary brought up from a baby and uh, had an amazing career with um is currently retired from competition but gives lessons and i feel very honored to ride her she is gorgeous and lovely and super talented way more talented than i will ever be <laughs> so uh we'll see how that goes um it's my second lesson on her the first lesson um i screwed up the mic <laughs> So it was just all silent and I looked like hell anyway. So I was like, you know what? We won't publish this one, but this one I will share with you guys. Um, please forgive me. This will be only my second time riding this horse. Oh, she's absolutely lovely. <laughs> you know, she's very different than Bo. So, um, you know, you get used to one method of riding and sometimes it takes a little adjustment to, uh, you know, ride something different. So uh, hopefully things will go well today and uh, I will see you at the barn. <laughs> Like she knows. <laughs> Suppose over there, and there's Tori waiting. <laughs> Tori. 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 <laughs> no, <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> She can have loopy reins, yeah. Just loose reins at the trot. Again, my trainer would kill me. Are we going to Western? That. Oh my God. <laughs> like, I just like to let her do it because, you know, when she was younger, she was a really anxious horse. And she would go around chomping at the bit all the time, like she head high chomping at the bit. And I was like, you know, I feel like me choking up on the reins is not helping this scenario. So I worked a lot on just letting her learn to like chill out and have looser reins and she seems much happier with looser reins yeah, but then when we start jumping you have to have shorter reins because she gets hot oh. she, she is a western pony i know right oh you can stretch down again that was nice see now if we like if you were riding um after about 20 minutes that's when tori stops being a western pony she just takes a while to warm up that's the problem She's one where, honestly, if you were going to ride her, if you got here and got on her 15 minutes before the lesson, yeah, then it would be like, then we could, it would be a different ride. <laughs> well, I was hoping to I get know. here a little early, but... Yeah, no, I know. My well, plans were foiled. Good, yeah, so every time you sit, you're kind of giving her a squeeze. And just watching your thighs and your knees so that you don't accidentally tell her to ho. Oh, and she also knows that one really well. <laughs> you can hear me in my, my classes doing that. Because, of course, I ride with longer reins. And then in the jumper class, all of a sudden, you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> this is too long. <laughs> so then I say it. And she listens. Ooh, I lost my balance for half a second. She stopped. 
Yeah, she is. Like I said, man, she demands perfection. She really does. If you get crooked to a fence without being 100% straight and that was your plan, she will stop. I mean, now she might not, but that's how <laughs> she is in the show ring at least. And yeah, if you even lose your balance or accidentally your equitation, then she is just like, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> and you know, it's, it's kind of one of those like um, things with the loopy reins too, where we adjust to the horses that we're on. Right. Like I remember when I was working with Laura Chappelle, she had this one horse that she was like, see now I don't really agree with this because of fitness level things, but she was like, we don't really ride him unless we're horse showing. Because she's like, because he just, he doesn't enjoy it unless we're showing. And I was right. like, okay, kind of weird for fitness, but if you're lunging him or something, then I can see that being not too bad. But like her, she just doesn't, she likes to have the loopy range. She likes to go around like this. She knows how to do all the stuff. That's the most important part. Knowing right. that your horse can do it. And who, like that one post that I shared where it was like, all these people try to force collection, but they can't trot around on the buckle right. on their horse. Like, no, you can't have collection without re relaxation. Now she can wake up a touch more. So if you want to sit the trot a little bit, there we go. Yeah, now post. Yeah. She doesn't have to be that lazy. She is just used to being a lesson horse at this point. For your killing the East Donald. There, good. Perfect. And just like Bo, you can think about a little bit of inside leg to the outside rein pushing her out. And you could even, again, you could kind of play with some of the Western stuff by asking her to change directions without even touching the rein or a tighter circle with the outside or with leg aids. I trot around on the buckle and make her do all the Western stuff <laughs> when I actually get a rider, which I miss riding her. There we go. And now she's kind of starting to even take a little bit of feel on the bit. But right. And so now obviously your inside leg and rein changes. Yep. She requires so much leg. Yeah, and the serpentine is nice because you get to practice going straight and then changing the bend and then going straight and then changing the bend again. It's a really good way to know if your horse is kind of on the aids. It's always been hard for her. She's just such a jumper, man. She... <laughs> like, again, we did all of that stuff to make it so that she was a really good jumper, but like, she hated it. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, just push her off the right leg and see if you can come right across here. Yeah, good. And then you push her off the left leg to change. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. It's still hard to, it's a little harder for her to do some of the tighter stuff now, but. And it's also hard to, to keep her going and move her off that leg because it's, it seems like you might be accidentally asking for other stuff, but you're yeah. not. Slash Tori doesn't know you that well, so. <laughs> right. So she's like, um, yeah, good She luck. doesn't know my, <laughs> yep. my, my kooky aids. Yes. But again, she's one that if you really wanted to get in on it, you could, like, it's much easier on her than Bo. Like, you can make incredibly tight turns on her. I can feel it. She's also not 10 miles long. Right. Like, yeah. that helps. There we go. Good. Yeah, now let's ask her to walk. So you're just going to sit and close your thighs. Good. Good girl. Oh, Tori. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's funny. Good girl. Yeah, we want to make it so you're not working so hard at the post trot. <laughs> like once she's forward, again, she's funny because at horse shows she's not like this at all. <laughs> at horse shows, I'm holding on. Right. Okay, next time around, you're gonna come through your uh, through these poles. Good, there we go. There's a better trot. You still have about six inches to a foot that you could get. But I 
if the footing was a little bit softer, it'd probably be a little bit easier too. So think about just steering off your left leg and rein. Yeah. There you go, and just find the middle. There, good. She holds you in place. She would have made such a, if my mom had have invested the money, she would have made a big Eck horse, man. She would have been some kid's big Eck horse. There you go. So again, off the left leg, see if we can get her to spin. Good, and just keep your eyes up. Very nice. And I don't know who this is, so just let Tori ignore it. Or use potential spooking as a way to get more forward. That's what my trainer used to always tell me. She's like, <laughs> no, it's good that Tori's spooking. She actually needs to move. Good, so after this one, we'll find a place to change directions and come at it the other way. She gets stuck in that corner. I don't know why, she was doing it with Olivia yesterday too. Yeah. Uh-oh, did we hit a rock there? I know she's quite a different ride from Bo. She's what? She's quite a different ride from Bo. Yeah. With the amount of energy she requires. Less. <laughs> really? Less you think energy. She's less? That's funny. Well, she doesn't launch me into the sky with her trot. That's true. His trot is a lot. That's so funny because I find him so much easier to ride. That's so funny. I think she's just more like what I'm used to. Yeah. Yeah, she's, you know, it's funny. She's a little bit more of a thoroughbred -y, bloody horse, yeah, you know? Yeah, she's very thoroughbred -y. But But she's not. That's the crazy part. Like, to me. <laughs> she is, no, I know, right? She is an eight thoroughbred. Right. Whereas Bo is half thoroughbred. Isn't that weird? Like, what is that? Good. Just eyes nice and up. Good. All right. So, lower leg on, bigger trot. There we go. Good. And just eyes up and grab some milk. Good. And we'll come around and get it again. Good. And lower leg on and just squeeze her at the base to ask for a little bit of a jump. Good. All right, let her walk for a second. Make it a little bit bigger. All right, so nice big trot because it's a bigger cross rail. We don't want her to fall over it. So just leg on in your corner and then leg on in our approach. Yeah, make her take it seriously. Right. <laughs> now we'll come back and do that again. Don't forget to grab some mane for me. Yep, nice big trot. There we go. Eyes up and grab some mane. Perfect, there we go. Okay, let her walk again. Because I know she can canter in this, but she probably won't for this little one, but she might. Yes. She's just very athletic compared to poor Bo. Good, nice. All right, we'll come at that one more time. Good. Then eyes up, grab some mane. Beautiful. There we go. All right. Let her walk. Now, I would like you to go straighter a little bit longer. Okay. I know it's a tight turn down there, but because we're trotting, it's not too bad. Got it. But she sometimes learns that she can stop Just and <clears throat> jump and turn right after, and we don't want yep. that. Good. Lower leg on. Beautiful. Her rhythm is also so, like... Bo's really good, but her rhythm is really, I love her rhythm. Yeah. Lower leg on, eyes up, grab some mane, and just let her do her job. Beautiful. Whoops, I didn't. I didn't let her walk. What? I didn't keep her on the straight line. Good. There we go. Leg on. Good, very nice. And we'll come one more time, and then we'll let her walk. Oh, <laughs> Tori's like, actually, I jumped the oxer, we're done. She's like, actually, we're done. <laughs> Got lower leg on, grab some mane. And let her walk, good. <laughs> Tori's like, I know what that is. <laughs> she hasn't jumped a little oxer in so freaking long, so I was like, I gotta like slowly introduce this to her. It's my first oxer. <laughs> nice, I love it. I'm here for it. <laughs> Good girl. She's the best. She's so much fun to ride. 
She is. I love jumping her. She feels so like safe. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And it's because we freaking quit jumping for so freaking long yeah. that she knows how to use her body and adjust and everything. And that really makes a difference. Believe it or not, nobody good believes good me, but. You're such a good girl. Thank you for being nice to me. Look and lower leg up. Yeah, beautiful. How was that? Amazing. <laughs> good. Let's come at it one more time so that we know it wasn't all just good luck. <laughs> I'm such a bully. I don't doubt that it, it's, it's all her. It's all her. Good. And look for it now. Yep, there we go. And lower leg on. And just again, you stay out of the way, grab some mane, learn what it feels like. Good. That's all right. All right, and we'll let her walk. Good girl. She's not actually tired. That was her just being lazy. Like now? Yeah. All right, let's come at it one more time. No problem there. Just, you know, engage your core a touch and keep your shoulders up in the middle. Now she doesn't want to hit it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Good. All right. I will let her walk on that one. Good girl. Very good. Very, very, very good. We'll, we'll let you guys end on that. That's a decent sized little oxer. I don't believe that that's only two foot. But I, I, I'll drive by a three, like the, the classes that I used to do, and I'm like, oh, that's a Grand Prix. And they're like, no, that's actually very small. And I was like, oh. Okay. <laughs> that's definitely the highest I've ever done. Good job, that's awesome.